What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to your weekly live update rating video that we do every week, every Thursday or Friday. Uh, we do it after the live update changes on Thursday. So this was the team we were rocking last week. And as you can see, we've got a couple of changes, a couple of things. I literally nearly went into a game there and I would have had Mudrik and João Felix and Pedri all down. Now this makes a massive difference if you're looking for consistency in your squad. If you want to build results, man, you need to be looking at this live update and getting as many players in your squad, your starting 11, and on your bench that can come on and have an immediate impact while having none of them on down form arrows, right? So as you see here with Felix and Pedri and Mudrik, we have got E, C, and D. And then we also have on our bench, we did have uh, Akuna Matata and we had Simmons who are both on C as well, right? So I'm going to give you my suggestions, a couple of suggestions for different budgets to swap out. But firstly, we are going to go over to the actual live update itself. And you can do this both ways or two ways. So obviously, if you want to use eFootballDB, you can just go to the homepage, go to players, search filters, condition, a to a and that'll give you every player that you have there um that are on a form this week and obviously you can extend that out to players that are on b form as well um and then that's obviously doing it with eFootball db and then also we can do it in game as well if you go to just a standard player list go into filter go down to live data update and live update rating and then go to a or b so there's a good few players this week lads that have got a big boost to their live update rating obviously you've got the big names like mbappe messi Lewandowski. De Bruyne, Courtois, uh, Neymar, there's a load. Son, obviously, pretty much all the Manchester City players, um, a load of Real Madrid players, Arsenal United, there's a load of really top-class players there. Um, and even if you extend that out to A-form players, you're also going to get a lot of players in that that will, you know, you can pretty much fill your team with, with a A's and B's, lads, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is it is going to be something like Oblak is there. I don't usually play with Oblak or Courtois, but I'm going to have to transfer them in for um, Donnarumma because Donnarumma is on a D form, right? So a couple of the notable, um, you know, players that are on E form. Obviously, if you've got any of these in your squad, you're going to want to take them out. So Felix, up in Meccano, uh, for the standard version of up in Meccano. Uh, you've also got Martinez. I know a lot of people were using him. Uh, Ito, a lot of people were using him as well for, for squad builders and stuff. Um, but even on D form rating, lads, there is still a lot of players there as well, like Haaland, Donnarumma. They're probably in everyone's squad if you are playing a lot of the game. Uh, Verratti, Sommer, obviously, who was there as part of the nominating contract. There's, there's a load of them, right? So Marcus Llorente, Kimpembe. Um, so yeah, so you can choose both of those and you can see whatever one that you want. Um, but for me, I have probably picked out, yeah, a couple of really decent players, obviously, here, starting with Mbappe. And just kind of train him up exactly. If you have got a lot of GP and you're looking for a striker, I mean, I don't even need to spend too much time on Mbappe, man. He's practically a cheat code in the game. He's he's just ridiculous. 90 finishing, 90 dribbling, 92 uh, acceleration and 90 speed. That's all That's all you need to know about him. I mean, if you can't play with Mbappe, um, you know, then there's something wrong because he's just, he practically wins you games, uh, especially, you know, like Romario, he's super, super easy to use. We also have his teammate Neymar and Messi both on top, but we have picked Neymar here. I think Neymar is probably top three in the game, uh, depending on what version of him you have. And I think the best thing about Neymar is his shooting, cutting in and shooting. If you don't do a lot of that, then you don't need to train up his shooting at all. He still has pretty decent base stats uh, in his shooting from there and you can just focus a little bit more on his dribbling and on his speed so or his acceleration and then obviously with these standard players you need to keep an eye on the team play style as well so keep an eye on that there are a couple of uh, other players here as well I think Courtois is probably the pick of them if you if you know if you're used to using Donnarumma and I use Donnarumma the whole time so I'm going to probably have to transfer Courtois in um not the best stats compared to the Donnarumma I have but he'll do the job for one week or or whenever Don is back up we've also got Cavara Maradona Cavara Donna uh the beast that is uh Napoli's main man at the moment really um they've been flying it at the moment in Syria and in the Champions League and stuff, they're, they're going to be a team to be reckoned with for the next couple of years. So speed, acceleration, balance, he's got it all. Everything that you could possibly want in a winger, I will be doing a review on him this week because he has very much impressed me. We've also got Rashford, obviously Rashford. Does he, you know, I'm going to be talking about this on my live stream, whether it's today or tomorrow. Is Rashford one of the best players in the world at the moment? I think he is. I'm not just saying it because I'm a United fan. I think his form is unreal at the moment. 
and he trains up very very decently as well um with the speed and all that Gavi one of the brightest youngsters in Syria or in La Liga at the moment for Barca he trains up really nicely as well, tight possession, speed, he's got everything, he's kind of just like Pedri, so if you're used to playing with Pedri and you've never played with Gabby before, the thing about this lads is with the A form, get a couple of players like this in if you are looking to switch things up, you know, all these players are pretty decent but they've got A form, um, this guy's got unwavering form, but even somebody like Ruben Perez, this guy's a monster as a DMF if you're looking for a budget, I mean he's 10,000 GP which is nothing and look at those stats, insane stats for a, a, a DMF, if you're just using him as an anchorman or sitting in the hole. And then last but not least, we have Bodu, who is a center forward for AS Monaco. And he's got super sub. Now, he's got inconsistent form. As you see here, his form is only one. But because he's on the A live update, you know, you are going to probably be able to benefit from that this week. So just a short video, lads, just to give you a reminder to swap out your players. Because trust me, you don't want to be caught playing with E and Ds. Um, this is the squad I'm rocking with now. Obviously, I've made a couple of those changes. So we've brought in Cavaradana in. We've brought Vinicius Jr. who's on a B. Uh, we've also brought Courtois in. We've got Gakpo still up front. Declan Rice is back on B form. And then on the bench, we've got rid of Simmons and brought in Son. And we've also brought in Rudiger as well there. So that is the squad. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Let me know what your favorite players are on the live update this week. And let me you know some disappointments disappointments as well um there could be a couple of players that should have been boosted as well but anyway that's it for me i'll be back in a bit peace